Hi there everyone, my name is Dominic and welcome to the convenience store. This is a Chilla's Art horror game. If you're not familiar with them, Chilla's Art is a little indie studio that really focuses primarily on just horror games. The Chilla's Art horror game is sort of its own, its own little mini genre in the space of indie horror. And I've known about them for a long time. I've watched a, like a couple of playthroughs of a couple of their other games, but I've largely just like known they existed, but never once have I ever played anything they've ever made. I've only watched a couple of them, so thankfully that means that there is a whole, uh, whole pantheon of horror games they've made, which I have never tried and have never had spoiled for me. So, we're gonna start with this one. This one looked like one of the more well-reviewed ones out of the bundle of ones they've made, and they've made a lot. You wouldn't believe, you look up like, the Steam list of all the things that Chilla's art has made. It's in, its insane. It's extensive. And they're pumping these things out like once every year, every six months, it seems like. Like, it's really rapid. All right. It's time. We need to get ready for work. Okay. Seems simple enough. Oh, look at them graphics. Oh, oh my God. Look at that Unreal Engine 5. Oh, I slept well. Good. I, I did too. You know what? Oh god, there's black mold. There's goopity goop. This does not seem up to any health standard, especially in Japan. Like, I may not know much about anything, but I would assume that <laughs> building standards and quality of life stuff is slightly better than here. Oh, I can walk wherever. That's lovely. Oh, I can go into my... Is this my kitchen? Damn, this is cramped. This is a fire hazard waiting to happen. Gotta bring a flashlight. Uh, well, yeah, but I don't have one of those. Well, where'd I find one? I mean, like, I know I live here because I'm you, person talking, but... Pick a flashlight. Uh, yeah, what do you think? I'm not stupid. I've played horror games before. I need the flashlight so I can go in somewhere. God damn, clean your toilet. Like, I look, I know you're depressed, but, like, come on. There's a difference between messy and grimy. That's a big distinction in my opinion. Like, my life is often very, very, like, my home is very messy, but that's different than grimy. I need to eat something, change, and grab a flashlight before I leave. This is the usual, like, I, I really should go shit in the toilet before I leave. You know, I really don't want to shit my pants out there. I should go to the bathroom. <laughs> I like when the game just don't let you go anywhere. It's dark outside. Well, okay, why'd you put the little clickable thing then? I, I wouldn't have tried it if you hadn't shown me that. Uh, ooh, oh, yum. Oh, hell yeah. Is this ready to eat or do I need to warm this up? Do I have a microwave? Oh, I do. We have the technology. Yes. Now stare straight into it. As close as you can. Oh, just absorb the powers. This is the closest you can get to trying to be an X-Men. It's just putting your head in the radiation from the microwave. Which I don't understand why they say, like, the internal is so dangerous, because maybe it's just mine, but, like, mine has vent areas in the back of the microwave that look straight into it, so I'm like, it's not sealed in any way, so I've never really understood how microwave radiation kind of works in comparison to, like, you know, like, doctor radiation, the one where they actually get concerned about it. You know, when you go to the doctor and, um, yeah, put your fucking clothes on, you crazy gal. Um... But when you go to the doctor and they do an x-ray and they're like, don't worry, all right, it's perfectly safe, all right? And then they bolt for the door as soon as they hit the thing. All right, give me that. Eat bento? Absolutely. Oh, I don't even get to have the joy of seeing it, like, disappear. I wanted to unwrap it. I love bento boxes. It's one of my, like, it's like all that I have going for me some days. Some days I'm just fried. But, you know, I think, oh, man, if I, if I go get myself a bento box right now, I can pull through. Sometimes that's all in life. Look, life lesson. Sometimes all there is between you and suicide is a bento box. So try the bento box first, all I'm saying. If things get that bad, like, give it a shot. Some pieces of tempura and sushi have often gotten very close to just healing me altogether. All right. This already looks so creepy. Not just because it's dark, but because it's, like, foggy and... I don't know why we have the VHS filter on everything. Like, is that supposed to be how our eyeballs see? Because... We might have cataracts. How old are we? Our voice sounds young, but also that could be because in Japan they live way longer. So we might be a 70 year old woman. It's like I remember learning because, of course, people theorize a lot about like why I should, I should not go into other people's houses, should I? Yeah, <laughs> that's why I'm the creeper. That's what no one, no one expected was that I'm actually the monster in this one. Where the fuck am I going? I'm assuming I'm going to work. I'm assuming there's only kind of one way forward in this big walled. Attack on Titan enclosure, but... 
Because what is it? It's, this is the convenience store. So that's what all I'm trying to get to is the convenience store, right? But I don't know where the hell that is. Um, but of course, people have like theorized and like medical experts talk a lot about trying to figure out why people in Asia and specifically like a lot of uh, people in Japan live so long. But I like remember hearing one that was like a very elegant explanation as to why that's actually simpler in some respects, like obviously all things like to do with like life expectancy are fairly complex. Like there's a lot of layers and factors to like the quality of life, the level of stress, how that balances out with their diet and exercise. There's a ton of stuff, obviously. But one of the biggest things, um, let's see. Hello, do I work here? No, I don't. All right. I'm sorry, everyone. I probably, <laughs> they're looking out their windows and seeing me <laughs> dragging myself around in the fog, which is probably scary enough. Um, but a big thing that is like a simple rule of thumb for what humans live longer is humans that are smaller live longer. Like, and it's simply just a, the simple factor of your body is less strained by existing. It takes, it takes your heart less effort to pump the blood through your body. All right. Like it takes your lungs, all the factors in your body. When you're shorter, generally you live longer. Another reason why it's interesting, the whole like um, women typically medically living longer than men is another thing. Cause on average women are shorter. Obviously that's an average amount. You know, people vary a ton, but that's like a core thing too, is that women are shorter. So their bodies tend to be more resilient and actually survive longer because they get like expended less quickly. Cause of course everything inside the human body is basically just a series of, but what the fuck? <laughs> what the This is like a fever dream. This is like, what the fuck is this? You're telling me like, that's cool. You have it so conveniently located. Well, not, not even actually, this is not convenient. Convenient will be this. On this side of the bridge. Why have, do I have to cross the demon bridge from Spirited Away that sends me into the Shadow Realm here with all the creatures? Alright, whatever. But I thought that was interesting, though. Is that someone... A hobo? Let's ask him for money, alright? Hey, you got five bucks, bitch? Hey, 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 hey. I know what really happened here. I was called to warn you all by the name I cannot speak of. The day of judgment will come. Ah! <laughs> you had to just get that. You had to hit that. Oh yeah! At the end there. Oh, but I think that stuff's interesting. Like, like anything to do with like. I was gonna say I thought there was no one in here. I was like, wow, very trusting, y'all. These are big ass things of ramen. Yeah, I find it interesting. Anything to do with like why humans survive longer, I think, is interesting. And like, I like that. That's like a very elegant, fairly straightforward, and like logical explanation as to why. Um, and of course, again, it helps that on top of that, people in Asia, and especially Japan, are... Dude, straighten the fuck up. Look at that head tilt, all right? My brother in Christ. You are built a little raggedy here, all right? Come on. Come on. <laughs> We're smooching. Sorry, I was just checking out your, your neck beard there, buddy boy. All right. Do I need to do anything to take over my shift, or do I need to go to the back and drop off anything? Oh, I see. Okay, here. We got to... Sign in or something like that. I think some food are expired by the time you start your shift. Can you take them off the shelves for me? Look, if, if they were going to expire by the time my shift started, that means they were already expired by the time you saw them. They, they don't have a date on them that's like, yeah, this expires at 4.35 after I start my shift. Bullshit. Uh, what the fuck is this? Oh, is this my punch card? I haven't had a real job in a long time. I don't know how these things work. Punch in, fuck yeah. Let's let's meet the horrors of the workplace head on. Use the CTTV. Oh no. Oh, that's already so bad. Are you just le uh, yeah, you yeah, go ahead, bud. Oh, and I can zoom in. Oh, this is dreadful. Oh no. Oh, this will be so much bad stuff that's gonna Hop up here. How do I? How do I? How do I leave this thing? I should exit. Okay, I switch spacebar. Okay. But game, I know it's not technically my first day working here, but you gotta treat me like I have amnesia, all right? I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. What? Who just got in here? What? 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 What the fuck do you want? All right? Why are you walking sassy to me? Stop it! Stop it! Why are you giving me the hang loose symbol? All right? Don't stare at me. That's right. Keep walking. Get your bento box. I'm checking for expired goods on the shelf. All right. You got to pay for that, all right? Don't walk out of here, all right? I am not observant. And I do not care if I get fired. So if you could just not steal anything, that'd be great. If they still expired, that means they're for me. 
Got a strong stomach, nothing's expired. Take the items off the shelf. I take more than one. Do I gotta do this one at a time? Oh, do I have to go outside to the trash? I don't wanna do that. No, hold on, I have to throw these away at the dumpster, don't I? Why am I walking so slow? And dude, you broke our side. God damn, dude. No, it's 3 a.m. You're probably hammered. If you're here, you're not sober, all right? You're on something, all right? And I'm not one to judge, but like, just don't crash into our shit. I love walking this slow. What? Is this an active crime scene? Trash? Expired food? Uh, yeah. Yeah, what the fuck happened over there? Yeah, is the, is the, the house here have something horrible happen? Oh, yeah, there's demons or ghosts or something back here. I also don't like, um... This is, like, blocked off here. That doesn't wrap all the way around the building. All right, I should probably go back to work, because there's that dude in there just hoping he's allowed to pay. Oh, hold on, is there a back door? Can I go in here? Oh, we have the technology. Okay, okay. Very obvious thing I probably should have expected. All right, where are you? Are you waiting to buy your food? Should I make him? Yeah, I'm gonna make him wait there while I get all the expired food off the shelf. Shelf looks fine. Why do you look at this wall? Or is that just from the thing in the break room? Looks like some of it's expired. All right, let's take it off the shelf. What about this one? Can I only do one at a time? Because I only have one hand. Use the other one to jack off right now. So just, I'm sorry. It's, it's what I do at work. If you want me to work the night shift, that's the trade off. If they didn't want me to be touching myself, they wouldn't schedule me during the time when there's barely anyone there. <laughs> oh, man. I wonder percentage-wise, if people were honest, how many people would admit they've masturbated at work. Because I'm sorry, it's going to be a high fucking number. Like, it is. Like, like, hopefully at, like, a line of work that makes sense. Like, if you're doing that at the orphanage, all right, then probably, like, <laughs> police. <laughs> that looks fine. Let's see. I feel like, especially if you work any sort of like boring desk job, there's gotta be, you know, there's plenty of days we're just gonna get fucking horny and be like, all right, I gotta go, I gotta go into the bathroom for a few seconds. They've always seen the toilet clean. Oddly convincing. What's oddly convincing? The sign? Like, uh oh, let's see, what is this? I really buy magazines, but I do buy Austin Lee magazines. Oh, is this, is this handsome fella our little celebrity crush? Okay. I'm, I'm okay with that, I get it. But, oh, oh god. Oh, there was two customers, my worst nightmare. I used to work at a library, so things never got that crazy. So my bar for crazy customer service is not, it's not that high. All right, what the fuck do you want? What are you even buying? All right, give me that shit. I don't know if you paid or not, but man, he's got a swaggery, cool kind of walk. So who am I to, to get in the way of him in a free bento box? <laughs> all right, cool. Do I still have the flashlight on? I do. <laughs> That's not weird at all. All right. Um, hold on, did I not get all the expired food off the shelves? There's still some ramen that maybe- oh my goodness. Uh, thank you's choice? Hey, I'll give it a try. Oh, I get to eat some ramen now? What about this one? Do I have to wait until after I've inspected all the shelves? Now? When can I eat it? I want it. Listen here, I'm someone who is very enthused about taking breaks. Far more than I probably deserve. Rabbi, carrot, ra is it rabbi? Not rabbi. <laughs> it's the Jewish carrot juice. I've been drinking only that recently. I know your pee is a color it shouldn't be then. Highly recommend. Are you recommending things to yourself, you weirdo? All right, is there anything else? Nothing looks expired over on these sides, do they? All right, we just gotta keep doing this until some weirdo tries to kill us. Huh? That's a long line of ghosts. Oh shit. Hey ghosties, come on, come on, relax. There's room for everyone, but just chill. What does it say? 13 bucks an hour, night shit. That's it? This is the reason why I'm here. You know what's nuts? Talking about prices, um... I was recently playing Still Wakes the Deep, which takes place on an oil rig, if you haven't watched it. I don't know when this video is going to come out, to be honest with you. I'm recording a few different spooky games all back-to-back -back in the last, like, day or so. Um, but 
I was looking up because I was like, how much do people who work on oil rigs make? Because in my mind, I was like, okay, starting bid for working on an oil rig that's super dangerous and really physically taxing and really like truly backbreaking work. Um, that like, like, what would you think on instinct before I answer that? Uh, my estimation, I was like, these people have to be making like $50 an hour. Because I'm like, if people who work in like unions for like electrical work or like welding or whatever, some of them make like 50, 60 an hour, which good for them. Like if they can get that kind of pay, I'm always for any worker getting more money for whatever they do. But I was like, okay, if that's the bar for that, then like working on an oil rig should be at least around there, right? Oh, the ghost again? Fine. Ghost, excuse me, I was just about to jack it in the back room. What the fuck do you want? Oh, good, my toys. It's kind of late for a delivery man at this time, huh? We've recently incorporated this system exclusively for convenience stores that are open late at night. Really? How thoughtful. Looks like this package is directly shipped to the store. Thanks for the big package, big guy. Oh, and the name matches your tag. I think this is for you. Oh, you got something for me? I'll oh, stick it right in the back. As in the back room, you pervert. Uh, yeah, give me that shit. Why, why do they all walk like they've shat themselves and they're trying to play it off? <laughs> uh, Alright, what the fuck package do I have? Oh, yeah, but oil rig workers, before I forget that and leave you hanging on the trivia, the starting pay for that is 15 an hour. Is that fucking insane? 15 bucks an hour, and it goes up for basic workers to like 27 an hour? And... Even if you're like a specialty, like, like if you're like a manager, you make like a hundred grand. And I'm like, man, my old supervisor at the library made like 120,000 a year or something around there. Take it home? Uh, sure. Wait, why the fuck? Wait, hold on. It's a package for me personally? Because that's super weird. Oh, yeah, that's super, super, super weird. Because I thought they meant like a package for the. Why is the. Oh, I thought that was the front door. That was scary for a second. I got here yet? No. Oh, now I can see the convenience store all lit up over there, on the horizon. But I was like, why? A tape? Oh, the tape, it's gonna kill me, isn't it? But you know what? My life's pretty boring already, so at least they'll write about me. But I was like, that- people deserve way more pay for such a grueling, dangerous kind of job. Watch closely? Uh, yeah. I'm gonna do this before I eat, that way... I don't know. The food's like a treat after I watch the death tape. There's clearly something awful is gonna happen. Let me guess, it's like found footage from the building right behind where we work. And whatever horrible thing must have happened there. That it? Ow, your short film fucking sucks. Like, look. I like a good stylish Aronofsky-esque movie, but that was fucking garbage. Zero out of ten, all right? And there was no nudity, so I'm not really gonna- I'm sorry. If you're gonna be artsy, at least put some naked people in there. Men or women, I, again, I, I don't mind. I'm, I'm glad for whatever I can have on camera. Uh, Roydy then. What, what am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to just... Just go to work now? I need to pick up the flashlight every goddamn time. That feels silly. Okay, I can't turn on the radio. Apparently that's busted. Am I just gonna wear the same clothes I had before? Apparently. <laughs> Alright, I guess that's it. Off to work then. Do I have to walk to work every single time? For the ambiance? For the vibes? First night. Wasn't the last one the first night? Technically? How was this the first night? I already went to work and came back or something. It seems. God. Damn, it's dark. Holy shit. I don't think- hold on. Is there any options for- there is a brightness option. Oh, thank- Well, not the lore, because I don't so much buy into that. Camera effect? Oh, I can turn that off. Thank God. SSR, I can- alright, okay, okay. Hold on. Oh my god, that's so much better. I can take the head bob effect off. Sorry if that takes anyone, like, I don't know, out of the experience or whatever, but I hate when it's like- The head bobbing, I think, is super ridiculous looking. This already looks so much better. Like, it's not great. It's still very, um, minimalistic, let's say, in graphical terms. But that, um, VHS filter was driving me fucking crazy. 
I just don't get it for a game where we're not on a VHS. Like, like our eyeballs don't see that way. Like, reminds me a little bit of like, um, if anyone's seen the documentary, They Will Not Grow Old, that is, is a Peter Jackson project where he used, um, new technology that a mix of like cool tech and AI, like useful assistive AI, I should clarify. Oh, I can't see a fucking thing. Where the hell am I going? I turned up the brightness, but I can't still see, I can't see jack shit. Hello, could someone point me where the convenience store is? Because this town is confusing me. Is this out in the middle of the woods? Where, why am I in someone's backyard now? What is happening? Oh, the true horror of a Chilla's art game is just getting fucking lost. All right, I must be over there. Okay, hold on. All the lights are over kind of that way. So that must be where the convenience store is. I must be way off the beaten path here. Yeah, okay, okay, hold on. We're gonna get back there. It's gonna be okay. Wait, is that our house? Do we go backwards? Oh, fuck me. Wait, I can see it. I can see the promised land right over there. Hold on. We just gotta take a left around here. If you hit the scary death forest, then you've gone too far. So it's over here and then straight up ahead. I guess. I turned up the brightness, but I feel like it's somehow... I made it worse, and I don't know how that's possible. <laughs> oh my god. But anyway, when we, um, the documentary, uh, uh, They Shall Not Grow Old, is about World War One footage, because of course at the time none of it had sound, so part of it's adding sound design, sound mixing, just to illustrate what it should have sounded like at the time, and it's like very, meant to be very accurate. Oh my god, now the brightness is like frying my retinas in here, holy fucking shit, okay. So when I'm out in the dark, I'll turn up the brightness. When I'm in here, I guess. Like, let's see. Yeah, what's the camera effect? Ugh. Yeah, I'm sorry. It, like, blurs everything so bad, it makes me feel seasick. Sorry, I hate it. Um, But it reminds me, enter counter. Uh, yeah, all right. If you keep asking me that, all right. I'm going to be fucking annoyed. The only thing I care about entering is your mom, like it did last night. I'm sorry. She's a lovely lady, all right? She enjoyed it very much. I showed her a good time. Hey, hey. So, I heard you reported that the doors would open on their own. Well, we got a guy to check the sensor. It seems like the wirings were loose. Oh, you thought it was some sort of poltergeist. I see those on TV all the time, but they're all scripted. Ghosts aren't real, after all. I don't know why I'm making him into Japanese Patrick Warburton, but it just felt right. Would you please punch in? Would you please do your fucking job? <laughs> um, but anyway, if you haven't seen that, it's a really, really good movie, uh, because they take all this old ass footage, it's like a hundred years old, some of it, and they manage to make it look like beautiful and brand new and really crisp and detailed. Um, it's really impressive. I saw some rats behind the store yesterday. Some must have left the garbage bin open. First person to see this notice to get rid of the rodents ASAP. Your manager. What do I what do I have to kill them? Do I have a bat like and it's always sunny? Uh can I see the rats on the CCTV? Hold on. How big are we talking? I don't see no rats. Oh, Granny, not now. I got stuff to do. All right, how do I how do I leave? I'm pressing I'm pressing the buttons. Am I not allowed to leave until it lets me? Or oh no, I should have to click. There it is. Okay, it's not the space bar. There we go. Pop that open. Um. But anyway, I remember saying I got to see that when it released in theaters a while back. Granny, just let yourself in. You're gonna take about. 15 years to get there, so I'm not gonna wait for you. Oh, hold on, what am I doing walking around again? I can go through the back door, but I'm already- I'm already this far in, I might as well go around. <laughs> uh, but it's really cool to see, like, the magic of how they managed to turn around. Kill it! Kill it! <laughs> can I just, like, step on it, or what- what's the goal here? How do I fix this? Yeah, what- what am I supposed to use? Like, yes, there are rats, but do I have anything to use against the rats? Oh, do I have rat poison? <laughs> ah! I'm fucking hitting him with the mustard gas. Excuse me. Fuck you. Remy, I'm sorry. This ain't no Paris, bitch, all right? You missed that exit a few canals back. Oh, I love find the rat in my horror games. 
You've collected rats three out of six. Bing, bing. You've killed rats four out of six. Five out of six. The last rat is a ghost rat. No, it's not. It's you, you little scampering bitch. Great. Now we have dead rats. So, you know, pretty awesome at my job. Not to brag. <laughs> a goofy ass game. Oh. When, when does it get scary? No offense, I know these games are very beloved, but when does it get scary? <laughs> and I don't mind a slow burn, to be clear. I'm, and I'm not even saying that like sarcastically, I legitimately don't mind a game that like takes time to build up. But I like that our first instinct when we saw the thing open and close was like, there's a poltergeist. And I'm like, yeah, if I was your coworker, I'd find that annoying too. I'd be like, really? That was your first and only explanation for this? Granny, could you just hurry up? Like, I'll... Can I carry stuff for you so this doesn't take 5,000 years? It's the only reason this game takes an hour to play or something, doesn't it? Like, where'd you go? Granny! Excuse me, old lady. Where'd you go? In the bathroom? Or is the old lady a ghost? <gasps> what if the old lady's a ghost? Or she's gonna be, because she doesn't have many years left. Hey, 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 I see you, buddy. Why, why are you stomping around in there? What, what, what? Yeah? Hello? Hey, I'm in a hurry. Now, could you please fetch me five cans of beer and a pack of cigar? Hurry up. A pack of cigar? Hurry up. Do I have to actually do this? Hey, I'm in a hurry. Now, could you please fetch me? Oh, he's just gonna say the same thing. This is not, hold on, buddy. I don't think you understand how a convenience store works. This is a self- Service operation, all right? You want it, you can get it yourself. Here, so I just go keep throwing bento boxes at him until he gets mad. <sighs> yeah, for real. Yeah, go fuck yourself. All right, I need five cans of beer, all right? No, you don't. Is this the beer? I swear to God, if I have to take these one at a time. <laughs> no, are you fucking kidding me? This is this silly ass game. All right, here you go. And, oh, hold on, I dropped one here. You know what, actually, that's good. I want you to have the little shitty floor cans of beer. That's one thing I've never been able to get into is drinking beer. I'm sorry, I've never had... I've had, like, ciders and things that are okay, but, like, any sort of straight-up normal-ass beer? Fucking nasty. I do not understand the appeal. Um, okay. You want a pack of a cigar? I don't know where we have those. I haven't... I thought I inspected everywhere, but I didn't see those nowhere. We got, uh, we got some, what are they called? Like black and mellows? We got those. Best we can do, buddy. And we got them with the wood tip, all right? We got the good shit. <laughs> oh, black and mild. That's what it's called. Black and mellows. No, it's not black and mild is what they're called. Okay. Yeah, where the fuck? Oh, is it back here? Is it? Oh, that's right. So it would be back behind the counter. There you go. Fucking loser. Scan that annoying ass buzzkit you got back here. Ah, there you go. I was gonna say scan his annoying ass bald head, but he's not bald, all right? He's just trimmed up. Where the fuck did grandma go? Oh, there you are. Good God, grandma. Shitting your brains out over there, sweetie. Pissing all by yourself, handsome. <laughs> grandma, please hurry the fuck up. And it's not a public bathroom. Why are you grinning like that? That's so scary. Why are they like... 2D JPEGs pasted onto a face. <laughs> like that. That's the thumbnail right there. <laughs> Alright, I'll get out of your way. Ma'am. Huh? Huh? Where's Kenkun? You know what Kenkun is? Cancun is way the far away, ma'am. Alright, I'm sorry. You got lost on your way to girls' trip. I thought I heard his voice. This was my daughter's house. What did you do? How dare you! Oh, it was so scary. Now hobble away, scary old woman. Um, are you blaming me for the murder thing that happened behind the store? Cause, look, I, I quite literally just work here. I'm actually, like, decent at my job. I'm even, like, most of these little convenience stores don't do a good job replacing the expired stuff, and I did that pretty well, like... I don't know why everyone's being so mean to me. Where'd you even come from, Granny? Like, do you have a car? Oh, you just got this. Oh, sure. You just have the kidnapper van over here. Here, let me get the door for you. Let me get the door. 
Let me get a look at this. Will it let me look at it? Not really. All right. Excuse me, Granny. Excuse me, then. Hip check! <laughs> Let's see how good that new replacement hip is working for you, bitch. Uh, is Hobo Man still here? I feel like he tried to warn us, but he also didn't do a very good job. He was like, they told me it was my job to warn you, and then he didn't warn us. He just said it was what he was supposed to do, but that's not the same. Alright. What the fuck else do we have to do? Hello? It's a ghost! Come on in, it's fine. Look, even ghosts need a bento box sometimes, alright? I'm not gonna be the one to tell you you can't have a tasty treat at 3am. You're dead, you have nothing but time. Like, fuck it. If I ran a convenience store and ghosts started stealing shit, like started literally floating out the door, I'd be like, whatever. We're gonna sell tickets to it, like, like, Grunkle Stan would in Gravity Falls. Oh my god. How do we know it? Do we know it's multiple ghosts? Or maybe just one ghost there, just letting his dick get slammed in this thing over and over. Some sick pleasure. Alright. Okay. Could you stop that? Is there any way I can make that stop? It is annoying that the ghosts are doing that. Should I check the, uh, the security cameras? I feel like one of them is going to be like, right, staring straight up at us. Um, yeah, nothing new here. Okay, it's just the rats. All right, let's check this out. Maybe there's going to be a ghost we can only see on the cameras. That would be cool. Ooh, what did I just fucking say? There's some little pantsless child out here running amok. <laughs> hey, 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 I saw that, you little creep. Oh, man. Well, that's annoying. That's above my pay grade. And my pay grade apparently is $13 an hour. Oh, tell me there's another delivery for me. Oh, no, don't drive by me, Mr. Delivery Man. No, he's coming. He's coming. All right. He's got a big package for me and his lights aren't on. That's not safe. Hey, hey. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Yeah, there you are. Hey, handsome. Oh, no, no. Come on in. Come on in. You know what? Here, I'm sorry. I interrupted you walking. I came out to meet you. I just got excited, all right? Look, my big handsome man is back. Come here. Come here. Come here, you big beautiful boy. Now can I talk to you? Speak to me. Please, don't just ignore me. Good to see you again. Oh, you know. The unstoppable trend of on ordering everything online. Anyway, there seems to be a package that needs to be picked up here. There is? Okay, I don't- I didn't see anything about that. Sorry for still having my flashlight on. Makes me feel safer. Oh, this one. Is it the head of one of the- Like, I don't know. I don't know what the fuck it is. Is this gonna be like a seven situation where it's someone's head in that box though? That's where the ghosts are like, hey, excuse me. My ramen was expired, and I'm gonna kill you now. All right, anything else, or are we we good for the day? Also, can I tell my manager now there were ghost children on the CCTV? Like, I'm not that creeped out by it, but it is a concern. At the very least, I should get paid more. Right, let's go look up the little little cretins are still looking around at us somewhere. All right, I guess they're all gone. Good job. Mission accomplished. Ghost busted. Can I go home now? <laughs> this is horrifying, don't get me wrong, because the, the stress of late night retail is garbage. Like, come on, if you expect me to go chase the ghost around, then you're mistaken, my friend. All right, let me go check around the back, though. Let me do a little perimeter sweep. Oh. All right, mission accomplished. Second night, how many nights are going to- Night 47. <laughs> no. Do I need to eat? Nope, no food. Do I just need to leave? Oh, is it going to be raining? Do I need my umbrella and my flashlight? 
Who the fuck is knocking? You motherfuckers. Can I help ya? Oh, the silly ghosties. Oh, they're being so silly to neat. All right. Look, I, I'm very lonely, ghost. If you want to come in, just tell me. Just make it a reservation or an appointment or something. Like, if you forewarn me, I will absolutely let you in. All right. Anything else, or can I leave now? All right. Let's go. I already, what? I open this? No. That's why I stored the bodies. Unless that is. Oh, a package. Cool. For moi. What are you? Something spooky, I imagine. Another tape? This better be something better than the last one. There better be titties in this. Or at least a good storyline. One or the other. Preferably both is what I like to see in my movies. Uh, watch closely. I'm gonna watch casually, alright? I'm not gonna pick up any of the subtext. No foreshadowing, anything like that. Wow. Okay. It's so avant-garde. It's so bold. It's so Lynchian. My god. The symbolism. The two ferns representing Zach Galifianakis, who is usually between them. Also, I'm waiting for us to watch the tape look over here and someone's outside the window or some shit. That movie fucking sucked, man. These ghosts need to go to film school. Like, come on. If you want to be all artsy-fartsy with it, that's fine, but like, come on, you gotta have a plot or something. Close my door. That's right, I'm not gonna leave my door open. All right, now, can I find my way through this time? Because it took me way too long to get to the convenience store last time. All right, I know how to get out of this main part. I should not get confused like before. Where's the hobo guy? Was he only there for the one night? He worked his shift of warning us and then left. Like, nothing outside, like, no. All right. Ding. Hey, where's a coworker? You tell me no one's working right now. What the fuck? I'm gonna go for like the work instructions. And it's just to be like, oh fuck you! What were you inside the fucking locker? You creep! Ew! Fuck you! God, you're good, ah. Huh? Okay, okay, fine. I'll stop. I promise I won't do it again. I don't believe you, you fucking neckbeardy bitch. All right, what what is this? People say like big back kind of look, but this is for real. Not even fat, just truly a big back. All right, I'm gonna punch in, and after that, I'm gonna punch you in the nuts. <laughs> Some products were missing on the shelf. Always keep the shelves full. That's our motto. The place we soak them by tomorrow. Your manager. I thought our motto was smash all the fucking rats that are showing up everywhere. All righty then. Let's see. Um, I got an achievement on Steam for using the cameras five times. Sure. They're giving you awards for anything. Oh dear God! There is. Are we gonna find out it's not actually a ghost? What that? Hold on. Predicting the ending here. It's not a ghost. It's some kid they've been searching for or some shit that was at the murder scene and they just like didn't find. It. It's been like hiding out there because he was too scared to come out to the police or something like. So we're gonna, this whole time, we're gonna think it's something horrible. We're gonna be, like, asked if we want to, like, bonk the kid on the head and kill him. And we'll have to decide <laughs> if we think he's a ghost or not, if we should try. Or if we should just bonk him because we don't like him. Alright, what, what's not on the shelf? What's not stocked? Boss man. Someone been buying up my lovely magazines? Uh, yeah, what's, what are we talking about? Who left the bathroom open? Did you not? Okay, there's something back there to grab. Who, who? Oh, okay. Why is the light coming in here even though it's closed? Hold on. That why? Why? What is the magical light shining through? <laughs> because this area even has like reflections and shit, so why did they forget that? Um, oh, okay, we gotta replace. What are these? Are these packets of ramen? Like little ones? Or are these some sort of, sort of chips? Um, aha, restock, yeah, why would you ask me? What What are the odds I want to say no and carry this around forever? 
Oh, should I go feel the, the wind and the rain on my nipples for a second? All right, that's enough. My nipples are now hard. Perfect. Uh, oh, hold on. Are we supposed to replace this? Is there more for us to restock? Why can't I run in here? Sprint around and get all my chores done quickly. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, all right. Who closed the fucking door? Hey, hey, hey. Don't lock me in here, ghost child. Hey. Oh, God. I'm locked in here. With a series of bento boxes and a fucking ghost. I don't want to drop the item. I want to put this item back where it's supposed to go. Let me out, please. I mean, I did just start my shift, so if you lock me in here, I'm technically getting paid. Yeah, why are ghosts always dicking around in these kind of games? <laughs> I locked him in the break room. Like, what? That's not evil. That's just mischief. You're like Peeves the Poltergeist in Harry Potter, like... How diabolical. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna scare the little minimum wage worker by locking you in the back room with some products. Okay. I'll have a carrot juice and wait it out, I guess. And... Spooky? No. And... Spooky? Oh! Oh, they're back! So lock me in! Nope, nope, no, no, no! Don't do it, don't do it! Ha! Ha-ha! Nice try. Uh, where do these go? Uh, what are you doing, buddy? Are you, like, a painter? Why are you here at 3 a.m.? That's kind of weird. Hold on, I'm restocking the, the pixel art here. I'm restocking the little Chashu Ramen. What you up to, handsome devil? Ooh, You're a little grimier than... I like the postal guy better. Where are your feet? Where are your feet? Why do you have nubs? I'm Hamada. So, there's something wrong with the air conditioning. Your boss seems desperate in keeping the food fresh. Hate to be working this late, but he pays me well, you know. Don't mind me. I'll just quickly check the outside units and head right out. All right, boss. Yeah, you walk with confidence. Work. He said my bitch Poe was nasty. This is what I assume TikTokers look like when they record like dance sounds, but they do them at half speed so they can speed them up later. That's what it must look like unedited. All right, go fix the AC, I guess. I'll just wait here until something happens. I guess, hold on, let me check the CCTV again, because that's where the ghost child likes to be like, boo. Let's see. Uh? No. Huh? 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 <laughs> Nothing. Where'd the repair guy go? He said he was going to work on the, um, he was going to work on the air conditioning. Alright. I'll just wait here, I guess, for something to happen. I'm assuming he's gonna come back, or will something horrible happen to him? I'll have to go check on him. Yeah. Yeah, buddy, where'd you go? I'm gonna find your dead body back here or some shit. Back here. Yeah, there he is. What's up, buddy? Oh, by the way, there are ghost children around here, so be careful or something. A key? Why the fuck is there a key down there? Yo, buddy. Hold up. Oh, I thought I was gonna hit him. I was like, why do I have to kill that guy? Open AC? Sure, I guess. Are we having a key for when the ghost is a dickhead and locks me in the, the storeroom again? Sure, give me that. Cool, can I go- oh, can I go in the spooky house now? Of course! Everyone, let's go make bad decisions! Let's go break into the evil bunker where everyone died! But uh, it's locked, I have a key! Hold on, did I pick it up? No, it's right here. I'll be with you in a second, ghost! I'm committing crimes. It doesn't lock. However, my arm goes numb when I try to open it. It feels as though something is grabbing me. In like what way? Like pleasurably or like if you just stick anything against the door handle, does it feel like it's getting grabbed? Just quite, I just want to know. I'm just curious, all right? All right. 
Apparently, I can't go into the murder house yet. Sup? Are you a ghost? Yeah, let me look at you. You don't fool me. <laughs> what you got there, ma'am? That's cool the way it just sticks to your arm like that. <laughs> it sticks to her arm like it's like a like the Yu-Gi-Oh card holder they used to have. Oh yeah, oh yeah, it's make me here on gameplay, gameplay. Let me grab the scanner. Beep boop. Get out of here, ghost lady. Hey, are you the only one working here? I can't believe this. What kind of manager puts a girl on a midnight shift alone? I am. I'm just a girl. I'm just a little lady. I see you have no choice. Well, at the very least, I'll give you my protection charm. Now be careful. Cool. I mean, that's nice at least. I remember when someone at work had like, um, like they had some sort of special needs. I don't know what it was, but like they were always super sweet when they would come in. They were coming with their mom. I think they were maybe in their early 20s. But one time I remember this, like the, this girl came in and she just knitted like this little, it, it was like just like a little square of like pretty fabric of different colors. So like. I'm like, it reminds me of that, where it's one of those things where it's not so much that it's practically useful, it's just a nice gesture. It's so rare in customer service that someone just does something just to be sweet, so anytime it happens, it's like, aww, that's so, that's so kind. Thanks for giving me something just to kind of, a little, a little positive boost through my day. Alright, now I can go in here, because I got the protecting charm. I can't open it. Well, but what's the fucking point? Why can't I fucking sprint? I want to go fast. Close that shit. Um, let's see. What? Oh. oh, the toilet's talking to me. I did too many. Oh, the bidet is speaking to me, man. Can I hit the bidet? Hold on. Oh, I wish I could turn those things on. Am I lo I'm locked in here. That's okay, because I hit the shit so bad. <laughs> Stop closing on me. I need to use the facilities. Oh, ghost. What's wrong with you? I'm, I'm not picking that shit up. You know what? Fuck it. Ghost, are you on aisle four? Who's trying to unlock shit? So I'm trying to get into my office. What's your problem? Ugh. This is just rude. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just an inconvenience. Can I see you on the CCTV? Where are ya? <laughs> oh, shit. What'd I do to you? What's your problem? You're gonna be right behind me when I exit this thing, I'm assuming, since you're clearly in like... Okay, but it's like, it's all haunted, but again, what what did I do specifically? What's with these ghosts just being like, You you work in the vicinity where I was murdered. Okay. Pick up talismans? Sure. Sure, why not? Why not? I'll use them as pads, alright? That, that'll that counteract it or something. I don't know. Yeah, it was, oh, do I need the talisman to go open the, the murder door? Probably. Probably. That's what I do. It's like a club promoter died. They're like, hey, come to my cool gig in the haunted house. I dropped flyers everywhere. All right. I'm assuming that's that's where it's headed, is we're supposed to bring like summoned into here. Exercise the door. Get some exercise, you fatty door. Oh my goodness. Who is that? <laughs> And why did they die? What the fuck happened? Is that the manager? Who's been telling me to come to work then? All the dead rats everywhere. Oh, more tapes. Yeah, am I able to... Ah! Oh, don't kill me. The manager was a dickhead, so if you if you got him, I'm not gonna be mad. Can I at least watch the tapes, please? Oh, they're banging on the windows. Oh, don't look at hey, hey, whoa, hey, hey, oh, yo, yo, no, 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 
If I keep moving, he can't look at me. Whoa! Ow, ha, ha, ha. The demon makes his head move super slow. Don't tell me I'm going back to work the next night after seeing this. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Do not tell me that my number one priority now. What a nightmare. Was it all a dream? No, dipshit. You were fully awake. You saw other people. Motherfucker. Well, good job now welcoming into your house or whatever. Because now you're probably cursed. So why the fuck does this area have a huge frame rate drop? Like, you, can't, you cannot tell me that this is super demanding on my PC setup. Can't leave? Are you in my house now? Yeah, you are. You're going to be in my house. Oh, another tape. Goody. Hopefully this one's cooler than the last ones. The ghosts need to work on their, their mise-en-scene, you know what I'm saying? They need to get their aesthetic worked out for these short films. All right, let's see. What you got for me? Watch closely? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, that door is very scary. What's scarier is that I've still had to go to work when my manager was dead, and I still had to do my stupid job. Am I now convinced that it wasn't a dream if I'm seeing video of it? Why is this door locked, by the way? That's still creeping me out. Okay. All right, now facing the true horror. Walking from my goddamn house Back to my place of work. That's really the horror of this game, is me getting lost over and over. Alright, let's go back to work, everyone, after we found our manager dead in a- in a fucking little closet behind our workplace. I swear, did we do something? Are we the reason? And I'm just like, I'm keeping a distance in case there's anything already inside there, but let's see. No? Nothing? Alright, fine. All right, let me get figure out what my tasks are. Like the other dude apparently just quit or got killed. Who knows? One of those two options. But yeah, last time he was hiding in the closet to jump out at us, but not no more. Well, at least the manager's dead, though, so that means we don't have any more assignments of stupid work we have to do. That's kind of nice. Yeah, I'm assuming that like, all the haunting now in here is going to be done, and we're just going to go back into that little door and see what's changed, right? Maybe? I don't know. Feels silly to work another normal shift after what happened. Oh! Okay. Huh? I work in hell now? Well, not that far off from my previous line of work. These TVs all gonna turn on at the same time with the loud noise and scare me. No, they would never. Oh, they defaced little anime girl. But they left my handsome husband over here. Okay, that's good. All right. As long as they didn't face my beautiful boy. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm assuming that doesn't open anymore. Who's in the bathroom? God damn, ghost. You're blowing it up from the shadow realm. <laughs> no? Can't go in here? Oh. Oh, do I have to use the CCTV? Oh, excuse me. Turn on? Yeah, what's on the what's on the tube? Oh, do I have to turn all these on? Oh, I swear to God. If it makes me turn on every single one of these, one by one. Oh. Never mind. Just a few of them. Just enough to be spooky. Alright, what's on TV? What is the, does the does the CCTV is the are the cameras affected? Can they see they can see all the spooky? Okay, good. So well I'd say no, I'm not going crazy, but I don't know if this helps. Hey, a baby. You want to watch some TV, kid? Fine by me. Who the fuck am I to tell you differently? Oh. Well, can I? Okay. Because I can only see the little ghost child on the TV, right? Yeah, go to the back. Get yourself a snack. Watch your feet, though, all right? You're going to get fucking tetanus. I almost said tinnitus, but that's not, that's not what you get from stepping on rusty stuff. 
Yeah, while you're back there, could you grab me a beer? I've, I've been having a really rough night, honestly. This is- this job sucks. Are you looking for me? Do I need to turn on the TVs that the kid's looking at? Oh, maybe that's the thing. It's like a little code. A little puzzle at the end. Okay, hold on, hold on. He walks down that aisle. Looks at... One of those. Alright, hold on. Let's figure this out. Where do you go next? You go over to here. Which one do you stare at? Okay, so that's the thing. I have to give the ghost child something to watch. This is like a little ghost iPad kid. Okay, so he looks up at that one. So for that one... Alright, let's get those ones on... To start, I guess. Alright, you got to Ghost, if you had just said something, I could have given you something to watch. Like, I'm- I'm not your parent. I don't care what you watch in the afterlife. Who gives a fuck? You're dead. Um, uh, it was one of the ones over here, but I don't know which one. Oh, no, no, no. It was because it was, like, down this aisle. One of these, maybe? Let's see what else you were staring at. Maybe the one right here makes the most sense. They would stare at the one right on the counter. No, 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 it's the middle one he's staring at. God damn it. This kid was goofy as hell. I'm sorry. So I'm like, I'm, I'm having fun playing it because I'm able to crack jokes at it, but this game is silly. How the fuck did anyone think this was scary? Yeah, I know. I got the sequence wrong. I know. I know. Because it was this one. It was... One of the... Oh god, I'm getting it mixed up now. Hold on, he went down this aisle. Fuck me, hold on, I'll figure it out. Hold on, hold on, let me think about this. Oh, hold on, you know what? I think I'm figuring something out here. They just turned this one on, I noticed it didn't... This one didn't make a noise, but the ones that were wrong were making a noise. Hold on, I don't think that one did either. Maybe that's like the cue so I know which ones are right or wrong. It's like, let me see. Yeah, the ones that make a bunch of noise are the wrong ones. Oh no, hold on, it is working. Cause now someone's moaning in the- <laughs> Someone's moaning in the back of the convenience store, which I do not like that. That's my job. Alright, I think we- We did it! Now we get our prize, which I'm assuming is murder. Hey! Yay, a child. Tweaking out. Is this your baby? I give back to you. I did not murder them. I don't know why you're so mad at me. Are y'all reunited now? Because I don't know why y'all were so vengeful. Unless, like, did the manager kill your family? Like... Oh, shit. Customers now? God damn it. I have way more important things to do. Uh, final tape. Yippity-dee! Bring it home? Hell yeah! Absolutely. Fourth night. Don't make me go back. Don't make I'm done working there. I fucking quit. All right, that's enough of that shit. Okay, another. Is it enough to someone else? No, I gotta watch it first. Oh, is that like the tech? Are you sure? Oh, is it? Am I getting haunted because I'm watching it, or if I send it to someone else, will it pass it along? I'll just die. Hopefully, the game doesn't bounce me back all the way. Maybe just a little bit, so I can try if there's a different ending. Oh, oh god, it was watching me jerking my peanuts. <laughs> well, that's creepy. I would th hope the ghost had something better to do than record my feet through the window, but I don't know. What am I to do trying to say what ghosts should and should not be doing, all right, in the afterlife? Oh. Huh? Hello? Hello? Ghosties? I... I can't move. I have sleep paralysis and real demons. What a fucking terrible combo. I 
Hey, 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 whoa, whoa, it's a twin mattress. Whoa, 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 whoa. Listen. Listen. This is a small apartment, all right? The rent is not that expensive. Get your own goddamn place. Or just ask for an extra room. <laughs> oh, we got goth, all right? I mean, that figures. We chose to watch the tape, so I'm not really, like, shocked by that ending being the result. Um, here's in supporting the other uh, Patreon. Chillizard. Um, that was, uh, you know, that was a game that existed. And, um... I, I don't know. I don't know, man. That was just goofy. That's kind of cute. They put people's names on the... Uh, oh, that's a really clever way to get you, like, have supporters. Like, maybe if you, like, donate to the studio or whatever, you can get your name on shit. Like, that's kind of fun. So, um, that's cute. I like that idea. Um, this is... This was silly. This was so fucking silly. I don't know, man. Like, I don't mind a walking simulator tense exploration kind of game. Those are cool. I like spooky ghost story kind of stuff. But this doesn't really hit that mark, does it? At all. Like, this doesn't quite... This doesn't really get your stomach churning with fear, you know? When I'm turning on TVs to let the iPad ghost child have something to watch. I understand, like, this is a very small studio, I'm pretty sure. Um, but I don't know. I kind of feel the same way I do playing the Fears to Fathom games, where... They, they get so janky and so silly and so clunky that I'm like, it's really hard to get frightened or into it versus like the midnight scenes games i think build tension and suspense extremely well while still being you know relatively you know small little low budget experiences you know because they're you know midnight scenes especially is a 2d game experience but i think it's, i still think that one in particular is really really effective so why am i still stuck in the black screen yeah there we go do i have to start the whole hold on i'm gonna check something can i start on a later night I'm just assuming pretty obviously that the two endings are if we don't send the tape, it's time. Need to get ready for work. Are you fucking kidding me? This game is an hour long. Who the fuck is playing back the entire thing? Oh my god. Who the fuck is playing back the entire game? Nope. Just to... Just to get the other ending. Absolutely fucking not. Absolutely not. Look, listen, alright? This has been nice. This has been fun. But I'm not doing that shit. <laughs> Oh, God damn, oh, hold on, I quit the whole game, I'm sorry. I thought it was just gonna... <laughs> damn it. I thought it was just gonna take me back to the main menu. That's my bad. <laughs> oh, goddamn. Goofy, goofy fucking game, though, I have to say. It's just very silly, very weird. Not very scary. I don't... I don't know... Like, I, I really thought we were gonna go into that house. and Or, like, I thought it was... Like, the crime scene thing back there was not just gonna be a little room behind the convenience store. I thought we were going to go in and it was going to be like a tunnel there, something that was trying to be let out. I thought maybe it'd be cool if it was like the kid. Like, what if we went down to that tunnel and there was like a maze down there? The police were like, yeah, we've tried to search all of it, but it's too dangerous. It's such a winding path. And that ghost kid we're seeing is not dead. He's alive, but he's scared and he's stuck down there and won't come out. He, what if he comes into the convenience store to steal food to survive? But his mom is haunting everything, trying to protect him because the mom died in some robbery or some horrible, you know, some break in or some jealous murder or some shit. And the mother's now haunting where the where the kid is. Maybe the manager went down there and saw the kid stealing and tried to catch him, grabbed him by the scruff of the neck or whatever. And then the mom fucking killed him and then threw him in there. Like, you know, what I'm saying like like already as I'm, as I'm saying it, that's a better plot than this is because this doesn't tell us anything other than something bad happened back there. There's some ghosts hanging around, and they hate us for some fucking reason. And I get that it's because, like, I get that this one is about the VHS tape. Don't get me wrong. I understand that. But it feels like a red herring with the whole trying to have the VHS tape, and then it's, like, where all the security tape is and the room, the area behind the convenience store. It feels like it's leading to something different and something more satisfying, and it just doesn't. It just doesn't really get there. And the tapes don't really mean anything watching them. They're just... I thought they were going to at least show us something. I don't know, man. I don't know what they were going to show us. But I thought something would get to us. So, um, I don't know. That was funny, I have to say. I actually enjoyed playing it because it was fun just getting to be silly and play along with these. Like, this is one that is fun to play. Like, playing it with friends and goofing off or whatever. But it's not very entertaining. And it's not very good. And hopefully I was able to make it entertaining for you. Um, and if you love this game, no shade, all right? Let me know, too. Maybe this one was just not for me. Maybe there are other Chilla's art games that really ratchet up the feeling a little bit more, that are a little bit more tense. But we just, like, we didn't have any memorable characters. 
We didn't have any motivation as to what the ghosts were really doing and why. It's insane to make us play the entire fucking game again to get a second ending. I do not have time for that. Not at this point in my life. Like, I appreciate games that have multiple endings that bounce you back to maybe, like, the final night of something. That way you can run it again and change it a little bit. That would have been fine, but I'm sorry, I'm not. Especially because I'm sure the other ending is probably just as simple as we don't die. We mail the box to someone else. And then we pass along the demon and then it kind of goes from there, you know, kind of like it follows or something where it just the demon has to be passed along to someone else before to leave you. But even that doesn't really find that's not that interesting compared to the fact that we saw the murder tape and all that behind us. And I'm like, I don't know. It just didn't feel tight. It didn't feel like a story that was very compelling. I didn't learn anything about us really as a character. Every other character that came in was so two-dimensional, both visually looking and the fact that, like, the NPCs were just like, I'm here to deliver packages. It's kind of late to be delivering packages. Are you a woman working here late at night? That seems like a bad idea. Bye forever. I'm going to leave now. You know what I mean? Like, they just didn't have any depth to them. They didn't really have any function. They, all the characters, none of them had anything identifying about them whatsoever. So that was silly. A little bit spooky, not super spooky. A couple little scares in there were okay. I didn't mind. Like, her being there in front of the CCTV and all that. The first couple of times they used the cameras for something spooky, that I kind of liked. I, I thought there was more they could have done with that. The TV puzzle was interminable. That was tedious. I'm like, that puzzle, in terms of slowing down the pacing, really, I think, does a number on the rhythm of this game. But other than that, it's okay. It's not great. If it's on sale for a buck or two, it might be a fun thing to play or have friends play or whatever. But other than that, I will check out some of their other games and give them a fair shake and see if I like them more than I did this one. But hopefully you still had some fun along with me <laughs> while we did this. So anyway, thank you all so much for watching and listening. My name is Dominic and I will see you. Wait, hold up a minute. Hold on, hold on. I had an idea. Instead of ending this in a super unsatisfying way where I don't go through the alternate ending available, the good ending, I realized rather than replaying the entire game, I could just look it up on YouTube because we have the technology to do that. And then I could at least talk about it instead of leaving it like half finished because we didn't really get any sort of story wrap up, probably because I chose the bad ending. So if you'll bear with me a second. So, all right, this channel, shout out to IGXL for having the good ending posted. So, okay, so here's it pulled up here. If we have the tape and we choose the good ending, let's see what happens. Let's see. The demon comes in like there's like a dance instead. Oh, okay, hold on. I was sickened by the whole situation. I sealed the VHS tape carefully and decided to send it off to the sender. Fortunately, the sender's address was on the box. When I was done preparing to send it off, I felt my tense shoulders relax. Too much had happened in a short span. My mind couldn't keep up. I know I had to rest, but I couldn't fall asleep. Everything about the store terrified me. Inevitably, I had to sit down on a chair to clear up my head. What did I see? Was everything I witnessed even real? Although I was scared, I knew I had to know the truth. I wanted to know what had happened and why. So I turned to the internet about the store. Has it store ghost question mark slash reddit? Uh, I found a few old articles and forums talking about the location of where the building was made. Where the building was made? What is pre-manufactured? Um, one comment on a strange form stood out to me. It said, there seems, there seemed to have been gruesome killings at the property. I searched for the same user's comments in 2009. There was a case where a man who was the mainstay of the family committed a murder-suicide. I determined to investigate the incident further. September 14th, the man killed his wife, his child, with a kitchen knife while his wife was off to a grocery shopping, off to a grocery shopping to a local supermarket. When the wife came back, it said that she was killed in an extreme way. He then... Uh, hung himself on the same day. They say that the woman was pregnant at the time of her death. The woman was killed with several nails punctured onto her along with her child in her stomach. Okay. I wanted to throw up uh, from the obscene images, but I knew I had to continue. There was a guy that replied to the comment and said that he worked at the same place as him. According to him, the man was often harassed by his boss at work, and he had complained to several colleagues. And on the day of the incident, it said that he had an emotionless face. Imagining what the family had gone through, depression and hatred occupied my head. It was very painful. With tears in my eyes, I closed the internet gently and called the manager to talk about everything I had experienced during the night shift and what I had discovered. However, the calls were never picked up. It was the same over and over again. Then I received a phone call from Mr. Hozo, a franchise leader who I had never met. 
I had a bad feeling about it. Then, with a shivering voice, he said, The manager is dead. Didn't we already see the manager die prior to getting the bad ending? Like, we, why would we not know that? I couldn't breathe, so it wasn't a dream. Oh, we thought it was a dream. Yeah, that's sure. And when I asked about the place where it was found, Mr. Hozo said that there was old storage behind a convenience store. He was found there after a, after a day of his death. I dropped my phone. I quit my part-time job with a broken feeling. After quitting, I would avoid going near the convenience store whenever I could. Because every time I passed in front of the store, I would always feel a sharp stare towards me, and I wouldn't be able to help but try and pass as quickly as possible so as not to look at the building. A day later, the story closed down. The reason seems to be due to poor management. But further details were not publicized. At that point, I didn't have the means or the courage to examine it anymore. After a while, the memories of the convenience store started to haze down a bit. One day, as I passed by the now-closed store, I heard a child's voice. There, I saw the woman. Okay... Anything else? You guys have a nice talk? Did you guys go out to eat? Did you uh, exchange ghostly phone numbers? Is that it? Really? Is that the is that the whole is that the whole fucking thing? Yep, it's the whole fucking thing. Okay. Um <laughs> I Okay. I have Feelings on that. Um, okay. Wh huh. I don't. Uh, <laughs> How do I put this diplomatically? I think it was an underwhelming narrative experience that I think would have been more satisfying had the things that were put in a large chat GBT esque essay at the end incorporated into the game itself for the player to understand some of this shit. Um, it, 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 like, I don't get... If you have that much info to dump, maybe the story didn't work the way it was meant to, because, like, I get, like, the nails on the floor now with the child or representative of what the mother's angry about. It still feels a little fucking tenuous that, like, bad thing happened in the building, building gets demolished, Convenience store on top, they start haunting it just because they're like, well, listen here, we did not get we did not get enough reparations for what happened to us. And it's like, I'm sorry to hear that. Would you like a, a ramen box or would you like a bento box or here, have some here, 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 here's some snacks. You want some shrimp chips or something from the snack aisle? Like, you know, like it's <laughs> it feels fucking silly. I had fun. I guess I had fun playing the game because I had fun being goofy and just having a good time. I want to be clear to like, again, like not every game needs to be good. Not every game will be good. Some of these games, I'm like, the playing of these games is sometimes just for the entertainment value, just for me to be able to have some fun and chat about it. So it's not that serious. You know, it doesn't need to be a big deal, but like playing a game that's not always amazing. But I got to say, having heard so much about Chilla's art, this was very disappointing, and it feels like not only does it feel like the story itself is not that compelling, and all the characters we meet don't feel like they're integrated in any meaningful way, but it feels like it sets up an interesting story and then doesn't do anything with it. Like, again, I think if, like, the house behind the convenience store was where the killings were at, like, like what? okay, you know what, here, better idea, because I'm pitching versions of this game that are better than what it is. What if even, off the top of my head, like, if... The the murders that happened, what if they occurred um, in the house, like over the course of the days that we were there? What if he, he kills the kid, you know, and that's like night one. And we get some hints of something going bad in the house or whatever. And then the next night is when he kills the wife and something else happens. Then the third night we're there is when he hangs himself. And we keep getting hints that something horrible is happening, some, some evil thing, some sort of supernatural evil is seeping out of the house into the convenience store. We can't piece it together. And then the final night is us going to the house, trying to look around and finding the crime scene, finding what happened or whatever. Like, I just feel like there's so much potential that's wasted because we're stuck in a convenience store the whole time, piecing together very non-distinct clues. And then the whole thing that it's all wrapped up in the VHS tape that's haunted, like, it that doesn't feel like that connects effectively at all to the family murder thing. Like, the tape thing is the kind of thing, it's like a vengeful demon or whatever, that makes sense. The vengeful spirit of the mother who was killed horribly and her kid was killed horribly, 
that doesn't feel like good enough reason why she's like haunting a VHS tape getting shipped around, you know, for some reason. I, I don't I don't really think it makes sense, especially if her suffering is supposed to be tied to that location where it all happened before they built the convenience store. So it it's it's not good. I'm gonna be honest with you, it's not good. It was kind of fun. It had moments in it that I liked, obviously, and I had fun getting to goof around while doing it. But in terms of it, it was not well made. It wasn't well made. It didn't have the lo-fi kind of component in a way that was very fun or very like vintage fun kind of feeling. Um, the characters were kind of irrelevant. The writing was rough. Now, again, this is a small studio. There, maybe they this was just one of their swings and a miss. But I don't know. This type of horror just does not doesn't really do it for me. So, but that said, I'm still willing to try more of their games. I'm not someone who writes these things off. I don't think it's like, oh, this this is terrible or whatever. I'm never all their games must be dog shit. You know, I don't really think that way. I think you know what? Maybe this one just didn't connect. Maybe it didn't work for me. Maybe they've improved on future games since this one came out. So I still have a couple more, I think, in my Steam library that I may boot up and give a try sometime soon, just to see if a different environment and a different setup works better for this type of like slow burn, slow build kind of suspenseful horror, you know, and see if maybe that way is more effective. But anyway, let me know what you guys think. If there's a Chilla's art game you've played and really like that you think maybe I should give a try compared to this one, let me know in the comments. I'll, I will gladly consider it. I never write anything off. I'm always glad to give, you know, any sort of, you know, studio or team another chance, you know, with something else they've made. So anyway, thank you all so much for watching and listening. My name is Dominic, and I will see you next time. Bye!